Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, in this episode, uh, kind of the rubber meets the road, finally. We're going to start getting into some editing here. Uh, ignore the dog barking in the background. But yeah, I'm going to go to, uh, I mean, in the studio. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm in a studio. Um, anyway, I'm going to, uh, in this episode, I'm going to go over how to do some, how to do basic editing here, to how to do it, what I call assembly editing, uh, which is kind of just getting a rough cut of your, of your uh, project together. Uh, so I'm going to uh, quickly do a new project here. I'm going to browse and go to a folder where I'm going to be saving my project here. And I'm going to go down to uh, this uh, fight scene folder. And I'm going to select this and I'm going to call this thing. I'm just going to call it fight scene project. I like to add project on the name end of my projects here and hit OK and Premiere opens up. For this mode of editing that I'm going to be doing, I like to choose assembly mode when I'm first when I'm first starting to do the rough edit on on, on almost any project. Because assembly mode gives you this uh, a larger area here and shows the source monitor and the program monitor in the same window. I'm going to import them and hit Control I or Command I on a Mac to import. And look at all my media here. And I want to import all this. All right, with this window open, I'm already inside the folder where I want to import my footage. So I'm going to hit Control A to select all my footage here. But I don't want to import my project file that I'm already working out of. It'll give me a weird message if I do. So I'm going to hit down Control and deselect that. So now just the media is selected. I'm going to hit Open and import my footage. And all my media has been imported into my project. Uh, no, I'm not going to be, I should be getting it, if I were into... If I were organizing here, I'd probably want to put these into a scene one folder. This is all one scene, so uh, that's the only scene I'm going to be editing here. But what I'm going to do here is just go into icon mode for right now. And like I said, normally I would put these into a folder. In fact, if I did put these into a folder, let me select these all and put them into a folder so I keep my media inside of a folder. And we'll just call this scene one since it's one individual scene. So now that I've got the, them all in a, I've, in a scene folder, I need to grab one of these and create a timeline out of one of these clips. So I'm going to drag one of these clips down to my uh, timeline here, drop it in, and I have that have my sequence created. I'm going to select that clip and delete it. Now my timeline here in the in, the, in under the scene folder is named after the same name as the clip. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit enter on that, and I'm going to type in scene one edit. I've got that timeline name. I'm going to grab this and drag it to the left and then drop it here to the left so it drops it out of the uh, folder. Now I've got a timeline ready to go. I'm almost ready to edit here. I'm going to double click on my folder and open that up in a separate tab. Here's my project tab. Here's my scene one folder or my scene one uh, bin opened up. And I'm going to put this in icon view so I can see uh, what I'm looking at here. And I'm also going to do, go under sort icons and list view sort so it does it in alphabetical order, arranges all my clips in alphabetical order. Okay, now I'm set up to begin editing. So I'm going to make these thumbnails just a little bit bigger as well, so I can kind of really see these things. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to move through the footage here and find uh, the clip that I want. Now this is my opening shot right here. I'm familiar with this fight scene, so I kind of know from beginning to end of the, the process. And uh, by the way, I will be I will have a link uh, down below that has these as exercise files. If you guys want to uh, download this footage and exercise and and uh, practice editing with them, you're welcome to do that. So I'm going to choose this clip first. This is my opening shot. So the way I'm going to do that, if I'm going to go shortcut for you and not use my mouse, I'm going to arrow down. It will select that clip. I can arrow left and right to select the, any of these clips. Shift O will open that clip in my uh, source monitor. This is my source monitor. The program monitor shows what's in your timeline. Right now nothing's in the timeline, so I'm going to go back to my source monitor. And I'm going to play through this. I'm going to have my fingers on JKL uh, for forward, rewind, and stop. I'm going to hit L to go forward. I'm going to push it a couple times. So I'm going to hit L and K to stop. I'm going to hit L or J to rewind and find where I want this to uh, begin. He slams the door there and let's go maybe one second back. Now if I want it one second back from where I am right here, I can go on my numpad at the, to the far right of my keyboard and I can type in minus, I'm going to say one second, type in a one, and then period. A period is a placeholder for two zeros uh, within Premiere Pro. So minus one period is going to jump back one second, zero, zero frames. I hit enter on the numpad again, all these numbers on the numpad, enter, and it just jumped back one second. So that's where I want my first frame to start. It's one second before the door opens. So if I want this uh, image to start here, if I want this clip to start here, I'm going to hit the letter I, which is the shortcut for endpoint. And that's where it's going to start my clip. Now I can press play, spacebar, or L, and see where I want this to stop. This is kind of a longer shot here. He walks into the apartment, he walks over, sets down uh, the groceries, starts taking stuff out, and the camera pans and dollies over to the left as this assassin stands up behind the couch and uh, aims a gun. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is have her aim the gun here and stop on the fly right about there. Because now I want to probably cut away to something to something else. We have an over the shoulder of her lifting the gun. So I hit O for out point. That's where I want my clip to end. So once again, endpoint, 
out point. So I did shift O, or you can even double click on these clips here, and they will load them in the source monitor. I for in point, O for out point, and now to drop them into the timeline, the shortcut is period. Period will take your in and out point and drop it into the timeline. So will comma. Comma is insert, period is overwrite. So period, I just hit period, but either, either will work at this point. Period to drop it into the timeline. I'm going to do shift three to jump to my timeline. Shift three, I'm in my timeline, I'm going to hit home and play through the clip and see how many edit goes. One second passes, opens the door. I'm going to hit L a couple times, fast forward through this, he walks over, puts on the groceries, and then the camera dollies and pans over to the lady revealing herself behind the couch, and we're going to go on to the next shot. So I kind of want to do a match cut, uh, so I'm going to hit Shift 1, which would jump back to my bin window. Uh, I'm going to arrow to the right, uh, and actually, I read on the, if I, I read on the script supervisor port, and it says maybe take two is the best out of these ones. Uh, this one is scene one, take two. This one's scene, scene one A, take one. Scene one A, take two is the uh, the better of these of, the, of those two takes. So I'm going to hit Shift O to open that up. I'm going to play through this. One alpha take two. Hit L, 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 and K to stop where she lifts up. And I'm going to arrow backwards because I want that, a little bit of that gun lifting up. So I'm going to arrow backwards. I'm intentionally mismatching this right now. But uh, right now we're just kind of doing a loose, a very loose edit. I'm just dropping down the clips into the timeline that I, that I want to use in the, order, in the potential order that they're going to uh, tell the story in the best way. Hit I for endpoint. Play, Click. the space bar, she clicks the gun there, and that's where he notices the sound from the gun clicking. So O for out point, period, drop it down in the timeline, and now I have two edits down the timeline. Shift 3 to jump down. While I'm in my timeline, I'm going to hit Shift plus. That will increase my track height, and I also want to zoom up on this edit a little bit, so I'm going to hit plus, plus, plus on the top of the keyboard, not on the numpad, but on the top of the keyboard, and it zooms up a little more. So now we can go back here. I'm holding now shift and hitting arrow back to kind of go five frames at a time. And now I'm going to play through that and see how that looks. She lifts the gun. She lifts again. So there's a mismatch. And that's fine. That can f be fixed later. But now I'm going to put a, put a new clip in. So I'm going to arrow down or hit end. Uh, arrow down will jump to the edit on the end. Or you can just hit the end key above the arrows. And will take you to the end. Because I want to make sure that when I uh, drop the next clip in, it doesn't drop it right here in the middle of the shot. So she pulls the trigger. It goes click. Shift 1 to jump to my uh, clip viewer. And here's where he turns his head around and notices uh, the click. So I'm going to do Shift O to open it up. L, L, L to go faster. And get ready. There's where he turns his head. Oh, and here, the, uh, here he's being told over and over again to do it. So Right there is where he moves. So here we go. So I'm going to get after the click goes. Here's where he turns his head, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to preempt him by a couple frames here. So his head's not moving there. I'm going to go one, two, two frames back. Give at least a couple frames for the audience to see him turning his head. I for endpoint. Play through it. He moves. And actually, I want the gunshot to happen right here as he moves. So I'm going to have him start moving, then the gunshot happens. So maybe about right there. O for out point, period, to drop it into my timeline. Now let's say you forgot to put a shot in and you want to put a shot maybe between, the, let's go to shift three and arrow up and say I want to put a shot in between here. I'm pushing plus, 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 minus, minus, minus to zoom in and out. Say you want to put a shot right there. I'm going to go uh, shift one back to my project window, my bin window here. Uh, and let's go down to take two. Or let's go take three of this shot here where she shoots uh, on the reverse angle. So I'm going to hit shift O to open this clip. Press play. One Charlie, take three. And every action. Want from this angle where she shoots. Right there. There's a little flash we tried to do there with the gun that didn't work out too well. We got better takes than this. But I put I for endpoint. This doesn't necessarily go in between these two shots, but let's say we forgot a shot and we want to insert it. O for out point. Now I've got that endpoint and out point set. And now uh, if I want to insert it here, watch what happens if I hit period. If I hit period, notice it just overwrites the clip and eats into it. I don't want to do that. I want to insert it, so I'm going to do Control-Z or Command-Z on a Mac to undo. I go back to my source monitor, which is uh, Shift-2. We'll go back to my source monitor, and I will hit comma instead. Comma is insert, and it will insert that, and it shoves everything else down on your timeline. That's one way of inserting a clip there, but I'm going to get rid of that. Do undo, and let's do a couple more uh, edits here. So shift one to jump back to my window. I'm going to find this over the shoulder right here where she shoots. Let's do shift O and see if this shot works. And that one works there. We've got the little squib that goes off on the wall when she when she triggers it. And we will probably and we will have to do some effect work with the gun where we put like a gun flare on the gun because she's using a this is a fake gun, a prop gun. 
so it doesn't actually shoot. So she shoots and it hits the wall. You see the wall, the dust fly off the wall from the squib there on the wall. And uh, that's the shot I want to use right there. So I'm going to arrow back to where she shoots. I'm going to try to kind of match this here where, where he turns his head around. Uh, but I want to get that gun shot in, so this is going to be a mismatch, and we can fix this later. So I'm going to hit I for endpoint, and notice this already has an in and out point because I used this. Uh, I used a shot on this previous clip here, uh, but now I don't want that endpoint and out point. But if I hit I, notice what happens. It just resets the endpoint because it basically makes a copy of this clip down into the timeline. So these endpoints and out points don't determine the footage that you already have in here because now these are a copy of the footage from up here when you drop it in. So now I'm going to play through this. Boom. And as she walks up, let's stop it right about there. O for out point, period, to drop it in. And there we go. One more shot here. Let's go shift one. Arrow down to, I'm going to take, I'm going to guess take three. I'm going to have to look through some of these and see which one's the best take. There's one of these where the timing where she shoots. And there's a, fl a flash that happens to go right in uh, sync with the, with, with the gun. Let's see which one it is. So take two right there has that little flash when she shoots. Not timed up perfectly, but we can fix that in, in post-production. We can fix that with effect work later on. But uh, So she's shot once, and she's on the move. So in point, eye for in point. She shoots once, out point, period, to drop it, drop it in. So shift three to jump to my timeline. Let's play through that. And here she starts to move. And she shoots again, and now I can cut it off before she shoots maybe even one more time. So shift one. And here's over the shoulder. I'm going to put an eye for new endpoint. point. Boom. She shoots. There's a squib on the door. Make that a quick one. O for out point. Period to drop it in. And let's do one more shot. All right, there's one other good shot right here, this 1G take one where he grabs the wine bottle to try to defend himself where he moves against the wall, and there's a squib that goes off on the wall there, right there. So I'm going to grab right there where he's putting his back against the wall, in point, play, he grabs the bottle, and cut the out point. Okay, so that's good enough for right now. Let's go down to my timeline, make sure I'm putting it in the right spot right after she shoots there. And in this instance, I do want to overwrite. So she goes, boom, there's a squib that hits the wall there, and then we want to quit, cut out the rest of that. So I'm going to just hit period. It will drop that down in and overwrite. And eat. I don't want to cut that and move it over, so I'm not inserting. I'm hitting period and dropping it in. So let's see what we have so far. Now, th there's no sound mix on this, so it's, it's very rough, but, but let's, let's take a look at this and see how it's going. Uh, we kind of, we're kind of familiar up to this point. Let's, let's watch it from about this point on where it pans over and look at our edits here. She stands up. Click. Click. Here's the noise. It turns around. That's a mismatch. She shoots. Shoots again. Shoots again. And shoots again there. So, oh, there we go. And it's looking pretty pretty good. Now, this has some stuff I need to clean up and kind of tighten together. And we're going to actually do that in the next episode. But right now, I just wanted to show how to do basic assembly uh, inside of Premiere Pro. And first of all, I, as I mentioned, I like to go in assembly mode. And you're going to do uh, shift one. Select a clip by using arrows up and down, left and right. When you find a clip that you want, shift O to open it up. No. You can use JKL to toggle what? through this. What? L to forward, K to stop, J to rewind. And then then when the action goes, I'm going to arrow through this frame by frame. I for in point, press play. O for out point, K to stop, O for out point, And then period to drop it in where your playhead exists in your timeline period to drop it in and your clip is down there and those are the basic steps of doing a, a basic assembly edit just getting a rough edit down inside your timeline in some uh, upcoming episodes we'll show how to fine-tune these edits and uh, do, do some trimming and, and matching and getting this lo looking a lot better so that's it for this episode thanks for watching and if you have any questions please post them